Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. I'm gonna show you a week of curly hair. I'm gonna show you wash day. I'm gonna show you how I sleep, how I exercise, what I do when I'm with Bay with my hair. Things that I do throughout the week to just make sure that my hair is growing and maintain a good level of hair growth. Today is wash day and things are gonna be a little bit different because we are back into a lockdown again. This video is gonna be in a little bit more of a vlog format because I do just feel like that's a little bit more dynamic. It's a little bit more fun. Tell me in the comments if you like that kind of thing. Also tell me in the comments if you are one of the ones who requested this video. If you like this video, what is your hair type? What does your week in curly hair look like? And what videos do you want to see next? Drop it all in the comments section. With all that being said, let's crack on with wash day, shall we? I need to select some products. So let's do that. Sometimes on wash day, it can look really, really bad. This is not too bad, you know. This can still flip. Bitch, wear. Get over it, Lana. It's wash day. You're gonna have to wash it. So let's go and choose some products. So I'm gonna introduce you to something. Please don't freak out. I need to show you my hair care product pile. I'm in the ghetto. I've literally run out of space in my bathroom for any of it. It's just all over my room and everywhere. And please don't think that I'm hoarding it. Like I give it away all the time. I'm giving it to my sisters, my family members, my friends. I even donate it to charity and I do giveaways as well. And I still have huge piles of hair care products. I'm gonna look in that right now. Also, it is still in boxes because I haven't been home for a while. So I didn't really get a chance to go through it all. Also, I am hoping to move soon. If you guys know anything about me, I'm in the process of purchasing a flat completion was supposed to be ages ago but they're dragging it out like literally imminently i'm supposed to move like it could be in a week it could be in two weeks like it's stressing me out it means that i'm kind of starting to put things in boxes and leave things in boxes if they came so yeah i have olaplex right here but i think i'm gonna make a dedicated video for the olaplex i also have the new bumble and bumble line the only curls lines which i love one's by flora and carl and it's the super fruit shampoo so i think i'm gonna go with that i have a deep conditioner from curl company so i think i'm gonna use that as well also wish me good luck on my house move you guys because i cannot be living out of boxes like this like not knowing when i'm gonna move so wish me luck it's actually so stressful you know how stress gives you gray hairs so i had to ask myself is this worth getting gray hairs over not on my watch okay so my hair is washed it's like soaking wet right now i've actually got dressed because i wanted to take some tiktoks like make some tiktoks with the wet hair i guess i'm gonna leave it to dry mostly naturally i'm gonna plop it and if it's not done by the time i want to be sleeping then i'm gonna use the diffuser on it i just don't really feel like using a diffuser all the time especially if i'm not like in a rush to dry my hair like i'm not in a rush right now i'm not heading out i'm not cold so it's fine for me to just leave my hair to dry naturally like i'm indoors i'm cozy so it's fine i just wanted to show you guys quickly how i put my hair okay so i tie part of the towel here like this maybe that i think that's too much then my hair is down like i said and i just kind of shimmy it into the towel like that and then i tie this part here as well and now my hair is like not disturbed it's just kind of scrunched like this so yeah that's how i'm gonna stay for a little while i'm gonna do some work and stuff drink some tea After plopping for a couple of hours, I am actually going to finish up with the diffuser now because it's getting late. It's about six o'clock now. That is day one of my curly hair. I'm really loving this result so far. It's not 100% dry, but I think it's going to be a really nice result. I literally just filmed a video, so I thought, let's just stay here. It's now 9 p.m. I'm gonna get some dinner, and I'm actually gonna put my hair up for the night. I sleep with my hair in a scrunchie. This is actually a headshee, so you can call it an extra large scrunchie, but it is also a headband. It's kind of a two-in-one, and it's my brand. Cute little headband. You can use it to keep the hair off your face if you're gonna take your makeup off. But the thing I really like about these is if I wrap it twice like this, that is the perfect kind of width to put my hair up for the night. I actually don't pineapple. I feel like pineappling actually leads me to have a lot of tangles like around about here. I actually tie it here. I just kind of go like that. 
Then I put a bonnet on top and my bonnet is also from Head Cheese. I really do sleep with my hair like this. Um, and I did kind of try to sleep without a bonnet and just a satin pillowcase, but I just feel like it doesn't work for me because I do have very sensitive skin and I have acne prone skin and there is an awful lot of products in my hair right now. And I feel like even though I don't necessarily need my bonnet to keep my hair in place, I still want the bonnet so that all of my hair products don't transfer onto my pillow and then onto my skin and then cause me acne. So I just personally feel like a bonnet is good for everyone. Obviously they fall off in the night time. This one is actually really secure and this is actually one of my only ones that does not fall off in the night time. And this is by my brand. As I was saying, even if I do wear a bonnet that does fall off in the night, at least I do have the protection of the satin pillowcase. But I don't like to make a habit of it because it is gonna affect my skin if I'm regularly letting my products get onto my pillowcase. It's time for me to go to sleep and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It's a new day. I have still got my bonnet on. It stayed on the whole night. Yay. Feeling good about that. I'm pretty sure my hair's gonna still be nice today. So that's like a good feeling. Like, have you ever woken up on a cotton pillow, your bonnet fell off and like your hair's ruined? That sucks. Today, I really think most of my day is just gonna be editing. So for that, I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. This is how my hair is most protected. And now I'm doing like a really low half up, half down. I actually did fluff my hair out a lot so it has a lot more volume. I'm just going with this hairstyle because it's easy. It's not going to disturb my curls too much. And I just really just need to head out now. So that's the hair. Been raining like this all day. Non-stop. Hey guys, so right now I'm at Adam's house. So I just want to show you that the curl, oh gosh, the curls are looking, no, they're looking pretty good. I can fix them up really easily. I don't have a lot of tangles going on. It's obviously like stretched up here. And I think that's because I had my hair in that half up, half down again today. And we've actually been out all day looking at new flats that Adam's going to move into. And it's been absolutely pouring with the rain. He's just come in, what is he going to say? Actually, she's in the shower right now. Yeah, I got absolutely soaked. I'm so glad I didn't wear makeup today because I literally had like water like dripping down my face and it obviously rained on the top of my hair and I think it's just stretched it. Yeah. Ready. Oh, boots ready. Okay, I'm gonna come in a second. Alright. And I also bought a satin pillowcase for today. I bought a satin pillowcase. Yeah, the boys are in uh you remember me telling you that I discovered some satin pillowcases in my cupboard. I decided to use it and bringing it to Adam's house. Wow, thanks for the additional lighting. I just told Adam that the lighting is bad and he helped me out with the flash. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna sleep on now, seeing as he always laughs at me from my bonnet coming off in the nighttime. What do you think I look like in the morning when I wake up? And I... How's my bonnet? Mm. So was a mission kind of fun. Right? Where does it go? I don't know. I don't think that that one's a good one to sleep in, to be fair. Okay. Food time. Thank you. You good man, why don't you know? Okay. Who am I overlooking? So bad about breaking up. Is your fault. How in the hell is it our fault? We didn't know he was engaged. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should have. You know everything. It's Sunday morning and this is what I look like. <laughs> Looks worse than it is, you guys, because I slept on the satin. I think that my hair is not all screwed up like it looks like. This is like fourth day. This is not bad at all. I could still do my little half up, half down. I could do some cute hairstyles with this and it doesn't take that much fixing up. It hasn't dried out yet. Like I used a lot of product and I also used oil on wash day. And the oil really helps to seal in all of that moisture. So even in this cold weather and in the rain, oh my God, there's a squirrel and a squirrel jumped in through this window the other day. Oh my God, there's two squirrels. What are they doing? Oh my God, these squirrels are so cute. Look. Oh my gosh, can you see them? Oh, you can see them. Oh 
I just found my fling tag. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it today because we're going to actually do some boxing. So I'm probably just going to put my hair up. It is obviously going to be different because we are back into another lockdown. Everything's closed again. I'm not able to go out or see other people really do much at all. I know I always show you hairstyles and stuff like that. Like my last video I think was the 90s hairstyles. It was actually the TikTok video, wasn't it? And I'm making the autumn's hairstyles video. You know, those are cute. Those are really nice. If you're heading into work, if you're going to do school and stuff like that. But for when I'm just like sitting at home and chilling, I don't need to be like manipulating my hair and doing all that. It's like it's taking time and also it's just not necessary So I don't really do that while I'm at home by myself. Um, obviously, I think that's understandable I mean, who's doing that? Who's doing all of that while they're at home by themselves? My hair is either gonna be like this or it's gonna be in a bun or it's gonna be in a half up half down Because those I think are just the easiest most low manipulation hairstyles that I can do with my hair So that's what I'm gonna do. Look at what Adam made for breakfast. He always does so much with the presentation and it always tastes so good. So this is my hair for working out. It's extremely basic. Um, if you would like to see some other hairstyles that are a little bit cuter for working out in, I did actually make a video on that like two years ago and I'll try to link that right there. But yeah, for right now, this is all I'm gonna do. And you probably noticed that like, I have all of these flyaways that kind of go crazy like this. And instead of trying to sleek them back and stuff, I actually just bring them down. And that's for two reasons. So firstly, I have this huge forehead and if I bring everything back, it makes my forehead look even bigger so I just bring it down but also because I noticed that if I pull my hair back or like whenever anyone pulls their hair back especially if it's like really tight and really sleek it can definitely pull on these front hairs and you see people kind of getting a receding hairline which is like self-inflicted I'm really trying to improve my hairline so I'm not really doing my edges as much and I'm definitely not pulling all of these edges into ponytails these days I mentioned a while ago that I was gonna make a video on how I like grow my edges back but I'm still in the process so if you want to see that then just like hang in there not putting a lot of tension on them and just you know just tucking them behind there especially during a workout when this ponytail is going to be getting pulled and tugged and stuff like this and it's going to be bouncing around and I just don't want it to tug my edges out I'm trying to hold on to these edges all right so that's why my hair looks crazy like this but it's for a purpose it's for a reason I'm trying to keep a hold of these edges trying to not let these edges get snatched today So sometimes when I'm washing my face in the morning, my hair is in a bonnet and stuff, but sometimes I wash my face and it's just out like this. Like, so then it does get like a little bit wet hair. So I do find that like any edge control or any products that I had around here pretty much gets washed off daily. I've had questions before from people asking me like, how do I wash off my edge control or what do I do about it? And it literally just comes off when I do this kind of face routine and also I kind of don't mind it because I do apply a bit of water to my edges before I lay them anyway so now my edges are pretty much primed for being laid wait being laid that sounds weird Ciao. anyways I need some moisturizer I'm not gonna put any makeup on today I'm not going anywhere special I'm literally just gonna head home and I have to go to Adam's work to drop off his charger today as well it could rain anything could happen so there's just no point me doing makeup today let's fix this up though. like one once again at the ends it's kind of looking okay it's just the roots that are looking crazy so we're gonna do another half up half down so that way nobody can tell you guys know that I don't like I'm not obsessed with this stuff I don't love it like a crazy amount I definitely feel like you shouldn't use it all the time it's not the best thing for your hair in the long run but it is great for a quick little fix me up but there's just a few bits that maybe got rained on the other day that are looking really frizzy you see this part right here is like all of that, you see all of that, all of this, you see all of this, all of this, all of this, clear. So a bit of water and a little bit, oh gosh, I'm just gonna stick that on there. 
And now I'm just gonna do my little half up, half down that I've been doing all weekend. This is a very realistic week in the life of my hair. So that's why I'm not doing anything crazy. But if you guys wanna see another video like this at some point when things do get a bit more exciting, then just let me know in the comment section because there will be times when I do the most with my hair. Like I do so much. Mm, that's a bit too high for what I want today. But now that I've separated all my hair, now I have all these frizzy bits again. So I am gonna put some Cantu on there. It's a struggle. Okay, and so remember the other day I said that I didn't want to put too much tension on my edges these days. So I'm not going to like try really hard to bring these into the ponytail. I'm actually just going to turn them into ringlets. And the way that I do that is to literally just wrap it around my finger like this. Like that's it. <laughs> okay, and that's my hair for today. Hi guys, so as you can see my hair is in a bun. Me and my sister have just gone on a little nature walk to clear our heads and get some fresh air. It's been like a really nice a crisp autumn walk. Like if I'm ever trying to protect my hair basically, a bun is my go-to. Like I know it looks lazy and whatever, but it honestly does the trick like better than anything else that I know of. And like you can obviously make this look nicer, but I was literally just going on for a walk in the woods. So I didn't really need it to look nicer than this. So today I'm gonna do something with my hair. <laughs> you guys know that for my job I do YouTube, I do Instagram and a lot of the stuff that I do is related to curly hair like this video that you're watching right now and today I'm actually working with a brand called Coco and Eve. Like this video that you're watching right now is not the sponsored video and actually I think it's going to be a sponsorship for Instagram not YouTube so you actually won't see it on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a hair mask, it's going to be cute. I guess I'm just really lucky like as someone who loves taking care of my hair I'm just lucky that it's actually part of my job okay i'm almost ready to start filming i just need to put you guys down here somewhere i am gonna do a little bit of a giveaway i know i mentioned it in the title and you've had to wait all the way to the end but that just means that you were a real one so i feel like today's giveaway is especially relevant because we are going through another period of lockdown i've mentioned it throughout this video talking about how i haven't really been able to actually do that much i haven't been doing much with my hair because i can't really go anywhere i just have like the one support bubble and that's it so this giveaway is especially targeted at the idea of staying home more i've teamed up with yes style for this giveaway they are gonna give away two insta kits oh it's already so cute chip means home and cook means to stay in or be stuck somewhere so this is the chip cook edition you have some k beauty some k fashion some korean sweets and entertainment as well oh my gosh so i could have done with this when i was doing my skincare routine couldn't i i have a notebook you guys know that i love to stay organized especially when we're working from home it's really important to make Make a list of what you're doing that day. These are wasabi almonds. I've never had wasabi almonds before. I'm scared. What? This is like a taste explosion in my mouth. What is going on? Oh, I do have my candle. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love K Beauty so much. What is this? Oh my god. There's a whole palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's J Hope from BTS. Okay, my Korean is a little bit rusty, but I'm gonna read this. This is uh, Remona. So I think that this is maybe vitamins. It's gonna help us stay healthy in lockdown. All of them inside have junk on them. We have, oh my gosh, a clay mask. My skin needs it, honey. This brand called Lador, it's a special hair clinic. It's a massage healer. Oh, wow, that feels really good. Okay, so there's just a few things that you guys should know about this box. So all 10 items in here have been hand-picked to accompany you during this period where it's safer to stay at home. There's a mix of beauties that you can pamper yourself and entertainment and just things that are really looking to take care of you, like these vitamin things, which I think is so sweet of them to do. So if you want to win one of these boxes, then all you need to be doing is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is the one that you're watching now. You can 
and subscribe right there. You also need to be following me on Instagram and you need to be following YesStyle on Instagram as well. This giveaway is technically being hosted on Instagram. So I'm gonna make a post about this giveaway and I'm gonna need you to comment on that post telling me what your favorite Insta kit items are. Good luck. Let's crack on with the rest of the video, shall we? I've just done the hair mask, I've done a cute little hairstyle, my makeup is all done up and did. And you know what, I am loving this wash and go. I finally got that volume that I was missing last week. <laughs> I finally have some volume. <laughs> The curls are popping again finally. So I'm sorry this video was so long and maybe it wasn't that interesting because like I said it's lockdown. I can't really do that much interesting stuff anyways. If you guys are going through something similar right now then maybe consider entering the giveaway with Yes Style and the Insta Kit box. And that's this video done. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't because all feedback is good feedback. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, tell all your friends to turn on their notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.